It's the International Soccer Preview. We are Soccer Files Canada. We're looking at World Cup 2026 qualifying in the Asian region. This is round one, the preliminary round. Our fourth pairing is Myanmar versus Macau. Here we go, the International Soccer Preview by Soccer Files Canada, Series 21. I'm Kevin, and today we are at the start of a massive set of series looking at World Cup 2026 qualifying. Series 21 uh, will cover three rounds of qualifying for the Asian region, or AFC, and this is the fourth of ten media casts covering the preliminary round of qualifying. These are the bottom 20 teams in the AFC region playing home and away, the 10 winners advancing to the second round. Uh, this then, again, is set 4 of 10, covering Myanmar versus Macau. And yeah, we've been wanting to cover the weaker countries in world soccer because they get little attention. Uh, most media casts focus on the big teams, but these small teams have an interesting history too. Some of them, however, uh, never get on the radar, uh, partly because they're often knocked out in early rounds. In addition, they're often hard to separate, and in the minds of even ardent soccer fans, just clump into a nebulous category of weak teams. So part of the goal here is to make them more distinct. Throughout, we'll be mentioning the teams that they beat, or the teams that usually beat them. And we, we name them on purpose so that fans can, little by little, build an impression of how strong each team is relative to those around them. At this point, we usually give some information about our past, present, and future media cast. However, we don't want too much information in our introduction here, so we've made a separate media cast that covers what we've been doing recently and what we plan to cover over the next nine months. So that'll be published around October 15th, 2023, and can also be found at the addresses that YouTube watchers can see on the graphic, and we'll also put a link in the show notes so that people can find that. Okay, but on with the show here. Uh, we will cover the fourth of 10 preliminary pairings. For each one, we will have three sections. So uh, part one will introduce a bit about the two countries competing, their location and population. Part two, we will do an overview of each team's history and recent form. So this series features a deep dive into uh, each team's history in World Cup qualifying. And the Asian region is further divided into what we call localities, and they play a big role. So part two touches on this uh, often neglected aspect of the team's history. Uh, part three will be a comparison of the two teams uh, in terms of ranking, head-to-head -head records, and odds. And we'll end with a discussion of their prospects and our predictions for this round. All right, let's jump into it. So part one is kind of a look at the country. So we start with uh, Myanmar. Uh, Myanmar was known as Burma until 1989. Uh, all information, um, sorry, I uh, made a mistake there. It's bordered by the People's Republic of China on the north, Laos on the east, Thailand on the southeast, Bangladesh on the west, India on the northwest, and um, the Bay of, Bengal, Bay of Bengal to the southwest. The Andaman Sea is directly to the south. So about one-third of uh, Myanmar's total perimeter forms an uninterrupted coastline. The population of Myanmar is 54.6 million. Uh, that makes them 27th in the world and the 12th largest country in Asia. Uh, our other country is much smaller. It is Macau. And uh, it's a small territory on the, south, uh, on the southern coast of China. Uh, it, it was actually administered by Portugal until 1999, and it was the oldest European colony in China, dating back to the 16th century. Um, 
but it was uh, transferred back to the People's Republic of China in 1999 and is now one of two special administrative regions uh, of the People's Republic of China, together with Hong Kong. Uh, so it's just uh, 28 kilometers squared, it's, uh, it's very small, and the population is about 700,000. So it is 167th in the world and uh, 49th in Asia, 49th out of uh, 51 countries in the list that we got this information from. So a uh, fairly big country against a, a small country. So let's uh, go to part two and we begin with a look at Myanmar's uh, participation and strength. Uh, so Myanmar's history of entering uh, the World Cup or trying to and failing to is almost comical. Uh, they were one of the first teams, uh, first Asian teams to enter, doing so under the name of Burma in 1950, but they withdrew. Uh, they returned again in 1994 as Myanmar, but uh, due to two withdrawals and a disqualification, they didn't complete a qualification or even play a game until 2010. They were then punished for fan trouble in 2014, and so they were banned for the 2018 uh, edition. However, the ban was lifted, and, uh, and so their participation has actually been consistent uh, since 2010. Asian Cup participation is equally odd. They first entered in 1968, uh, here too under the name of Burma. They promptly qualified for and finished second in the tournament and then disappeared from the cup for almost 30 years. They returned in 1996 and have been quite uh, consistent in their, in their participation except for 2006. Uh, for some reason, they were not eligible to join the 2006 AFC Challenge Cup, a tournament uh, designed for weaker teams in lieu of the Asian Cup. And we'll give a bit more detail on that. Um, a bit later. Uh, in contrast to the World and Asian Cups, their participation in the local cup has been flawlessly consistent, entering every edition of the tournament that has taken place every two years from 1996. And uh, their uh, region, by the way, is um, the uh, uh, AFF, uh, that is the Southeast Asian uh, Southeast Asian group. We'll give a bit more information on that too. Okay, let's take a look at their overall strength. So Myanmar is a fourth tier team. They generally have not had difficulty beating the weakest fifth, uh, fifth tier teams in the region, uh, though they did finish behind Mongolia in 2022 and that may suggest recent weakness. But they have taken points off third and even second year teams, but it is notable when they do because uh, generally they're no match for these teams. They generally earn a few points in a campaign and depending on the opposition, sometimes finish second last in their groups. Okay, let's uh, zoom in a little closer uh, by looking at their World Cup uh, career. So due to their troubles getting started in the tournament, Myanmar has a very short World Cup history, at least in terms of actually playing games. So uh, their first uh, actual qualification was in 2010, and in that case they didn't pass the uh, preliminary round, but uh, they were paired with pretty tough competition. However, from that time, they did uh, reach the semi-final round of qualifying, but generally finish uh, towards the bottom of the table. So we'll take a closer look at that when we uh, do our deep dive into World Cup qualifying. And let's move on to the uh, Regional Cup or Asian Cup overview. And uh, Burma uh, swooped in to take second place in the 1968 Asian Cup. That was their first entry and really remarkable, uh, made more so uh, by their absence until 1996. Uh, they returned as Myanmar and found their feet quickly again, beating Maldives twice and tying Singapore for a third place finish in the 14 group. In the campaigns that followed, they comfortably beat fifth-tier fifth -tier teams, and their 2004 campaign saw them win uh, their last game in Malaysia. 
But generally, they were no match for Tupper opposition along the way, though, and dropped down to the AFC Challenge Cup. Uh, that cup was created for weak teams, and uh, perhaps they were ineligible for the 2006 version because only the weakest teams played in that version. So it seems like it was in expanded to include teams of their level in 2008. And they were competitive, finishing fourth in both 2008 and 2010. Uh, but as the competition became uh, tougher in the tournament, and uh, they seemed to become weaker at the same time, they were knocked out of the group stage in 2012 and 2014. Uh, all teams returned to the newly formatted Asian Cup in 2019, and um, as in World Cup play, which actually made up the first round of qualifying, they were competitive in the uh, final round of Asian Cup qualifying in 2019, but not in 2022. And in both cases, they were well short of reaching the Cup. Okay, let's uh, take a look at their local cup. So Myanmar's regional group is the uh, AFF. That's the uh, ASEAN Football Federation. So that's an acronym within an acronym with ASEAN standing for the Association of Southeast Asian Nations. So think in terms of Southeast Asia then. Um, they have had editions uh, of the tournament since 1996, and they run roughly every two years and uh, have had 14 editions until 2022, and Myanmar has been knocked out at the group stage in 12 of those 14 editions. So the exceptions are uh, 2004, where they passed the group stage and uh, finished fourth, and in uh, 2016, uh, when they co-hosted, there was no third, fourth place match, so uh, they reached the semi-finals there. Uh, okay, let's move on to our deep dive, the World Cup uh, finals in uh, World Cup qualifying in detail. So for all of their drama to reach the uh, Cup, they played their first games in 2010. So uh, in 1950, they were in a group uh, with India, Burma, Philippines, and Indonesia, and uh, everyone except India uh, withdrew from the group. From 1954 to 1990, they simply didn't enter. And in 1994, they were also in a group, a group of five, uh, but they withdrew before playing any games. 1998, they didn't enter. Nin uh, 2002, they uh, withdrew again uh, from a group with Iran, Tajikistan, and Guam. So they might have actually had a chance there, uh, even though... Uh, only the top team pass, so maybe just a chance to uh, uh, challenge for second. They were disqualified in 2006 for withdrawing in 2002. So finally in 2010, uh, they played their first games. And unfortunately, the, uh, um, the first round was kind of too wide. Uh, they're in involved at too many teams. That's something we'll talk about when we get to the 2022 edition. And uh, in the first round, they were paired with a much stronger team, uh, China. So that gave them little chance, and they lost both legs uh, heavily. Uh, they were paired more reasonably with Mongolia in uh, the first round of 2014, and they actually lost the away leg, uh, one nothing, And uh, the... The uh, matter looked like it was going to go to extra time when they led the home leg uh, by the same score, one nothing. However, uh, they scored at 88 and earned advancement on goal difference there over Mongolia. Uh, so they were uh, went to the second round, which was another knockout, but it was a tougher pairing, of course, uh, and it saw them facing Oman in round two. So they lost the first leg 2 nothing, and uh, were trailing by the same margin at home after a penalty was awarded to Oman at 39. So disagreeing with the decision, the fans threw projectiles onto the pitch and the game had to be abandoned just before halftime. And the resulting punishment was a ban from the 2018 uh, qualifying. So it looked like their World Cup career would be troubled again. However, they appealed it and then it was ruled that they could participate in the 2018 Cup but could not host games. So no home games for Myanmar. 
Um, in 2018, they were not one of the 12 weakest teams in the region required to undergo a preliminary round and received a bye to the semi-final round. Uh, playing their home games in Thailand, they bested Laos and earned a draw in Lebanon in the final match. Uh, having been beaten by Kuwait 9-0 in the away leg, they were awarded a win in the reverse fixture. Uh, Kuwait having been disqualified in the intervening period. However, for some reason, uh, Kuwait's results uh, still stood, and in the end, it was a fourth of five place finish for Myanmar behind Kuwait and ahead of Laos. Uh, 2022 was a weaker campaign, but uh, we're going to save that uh, for the uh, recent tournament section, which we move on to now. But for that, we uh, start for the we we'll start with the. Uh, 2019 Asian Cup. And actually, the first two rounds of 2018 World Cup qualifying uh, were uh, also counted for the Asian Cup. So uh, we saw already they received a bye in the uh, first round and finished fourth of five behind Kuwait but ahead of Laos. So that was enough uh, to send them through to the third round. Uh, round three of three, and uh, actually in a pretty easy grouping, they beat Macau twice, and they tied uh, each of India and Kyrgyzstan once. However, that was not enough to challenge, and they finished um, five points behind those two teams uh, who both advanced to the cup. Uh, the next tournament they played in was their uh, local cup, the AFF Cup uh, of the Southeast Asian uh, countries and in that they managed to uh, beat East Timor but that was it uh, their only points they lost to Philippines Singapore and Thailand to finish fourth uh, in the group there uh, 2022 World Cup uh, also began with a bye so they weren't one of the bottom ranked 12 teams there either and uh, actually they came into the group uh, as the fourth seeded team uh, but uh, uh, finished last in the round behind Mongolia, with whom they had ex they they exchanged home wins. The only other win, uh, the only other points for Myanmar came from a home win over Tajikistan, uh, which actually spoiled their advancement as a second place finisher. But uh, heavy losses to Kyrgyzstan, uh, more than Japan, left them uh, last place on goal difference behind uh, Mongolia. So a pretty weak showing uh, there because Mongolia is a fifth tier team. And uh, we look to the uh, local cup again, the AFF or ASEAN Cup uh, in 2022. In that case, there was a little qualifying round between the two lowest ranked teams. So uh, they uh, received a bye from that round. Uh, in the group stage, they only managed to draw with Laos. So lost all games to Malaysia, Singapore, and Vietnam. All of those teams are a bit above their level. So again, a fourth of fifth, uh, a fourth place finish in the five-team group. Uh, moving on to the Asian Cup again. The first two rounds were the 2023 um, uh, World Cup. So we saw that they did uh, exchange wins with Mongolia, uh, and despite beating Tajikistan in a game. They finished last in the group, uh, but um, they were one of the highest uh, uh, point scorers among the last place finishers. So they actually did advance to round three of three. And uh, there they lost uh, actually heavily in their opener to Tajikistan and uh, also lost to Kyrgyzstan and Singapore. Uh, all three games to finish bottom of the group and not close to reaching the Asian Cup there. Okay, well, that brings us to the end of uh, Myanmar, and we move on to uh, our second team, Macau, beginning with a uh, look at their overall participation and strength. So Macau began competing in 1980, and though they missed uh, one World Cup edition in 1990 and two Asian Cup qualifications in the uh, 1984 and 1988 editions, all of those through non-entry. Uh, they've been consistent in participating otherwise. They were briefly suspended in 2005 for government interference in the sport, but that affected them only in their local group. 
and that group is the East Asian Football Federation, or the EAFF. And apart from that suspension, they have never missed uh, an edition of that tournament from its start in, 20, uh, in 2003. In terms of strength, Macau is a fifth tier team, despite having only results against the team above that level, a tie with Hong Kong in 1992. Um, they were at times consistent over fifth year teams. That unfortunately abandoned them when they most needed it uh, from 2006 to 2014, when the AFC Challenge Cup gave weak teams a tournament at their own level, as we've seen. Uh, they have since ranged from the former to the latter, doing well in the 2016 Solidarity Cup, where they finished second, to being knocked out into pre in uh, preliminary rounds of World Cups by fifth-tier teams uh, also. So uh, looking in a little bit closer at uh, the World Cup uh, history of Macau, they first competed in 1982. Um, they are invariably knocked out at the first step of qualifying, whether that be a group stage or a preliminary knockout. At times, they've been left with little hope against much stronger opposition, such as knockout rounds in 2010 and 2014. And uh, they're competitive only with other fifth-tier teams. But while they bested Nepal in the 1998 campaign, they lost to them twice in the 2002 edition. Uh, recent campaigns have paired them with similar uh, level opposition in pre, uh, preliminary rounds, but they have yet to take advantage of that to reach a further round. And of course, we'll be taking a closer look at that um, in the deep dive. Moving on to their regional cup overview, the Asian Cup. They first entered in 1980, and their best campaign was in 1982, and that featured the uh, biggest result that we talked about above, a tie with Hong Kong. Otherwise, they were competitive only with fifth-tier teams, who they usually got the better of, um, although in 2004 they did suffer a 3 nothing loss to uh, Pakistan. Um, dropping down to the AFC Challenge Cup, um, uh, coincided with a general weakening in their form, uh, which was also evident in their World Cup results. And here they generally lost to the fifth tier teams. And apart from a group stage exit in the first edition in 2006, they failed to qualify for even the Challenge Cup. They, together with all teams, returned to the newly formatted Asian Cup in 2019. And there, uh, a convoluted process saw them rediscover their winning form over fifth-tier teams, but it was not enough to get them close to the Cup then or in 2023 qualifying. So we will take a look at that in the recent games section. Um, okay, so moving on to the local Cup uh, for uh for uh, Macau their regional cup uh, regional group as mentioned is the East Asian Football Federation that group consists of 10 countries and really they have little chance of reaching the final tournament in fact no chance whatsoever uh, the final tournament is a four group competition and South Korea Japan and China are automatically awarded three of the spots so the rest of the teams uh, play off uh, in qualification uh, for that fourth spot and inevitably it's North Korea or Hong Kong uh, competing for that spot. However, the qualifying campaign itself is, uh, is good competition for the weak teams at their own level and uh, Macau has generally proven weaker than Mongolia and Chinese Taipei, uh, though they have taken points off them. And generally they've proven stronger than Guam or Northern Mariana Islands. Uh, in their local group. Okay, let's take a look at the uh, World Cup qualifying in a deep dive. So Macau, Macau's first campaign in the World Cup left them with little chance, uh, grouped with North Korea, China, and Japan, and they were quickly eliminated. Their 1986 campaign at least uh, included Brunei, and they won both games against them to finish third of four in the group but Hong Kong and China uh, proved too strong. They lost all games to them. After not entering in the 1990 edition, 
Uh, the weakest team they suffered heavy loss, uh, uh, sorry, in 1994 they were the weakest team suffering heavy losses in all games uh, of the group. In fact, the best scoreline was a 5 nothing loss to Malaysia. So they ended that campaign with a goal record of one goal for and 46 goals against over just six games. Uh, in 1998, apart from two 10 nothing losses to Japan, uh, they kept the scorelines respectable and in fact bested Nepal to finish third ahead of them in the group. In 2002, though, they were grouped with Nepal again and they lost both games there. Uh, 2006 was equally weak as they lost both games in the preliminary round to Chinese Taipei. Uh, 2010 first round of qualifying is a bit notorious for uh, having a wide field, so it led to some um, uh, unfair kind of groupings. Uh, they were they were paired with Thailand and uh, stood little chance. They lost both games heavily and were quickly eliminated. And it was pretty much the same in 2014 when they were paired with Vietnam. However, 2018 gave them a better chance in the preliminary round, uh, and that round uh, was reduced to the 12 weakest teams in the region, so uh, the pairings kind of are more equal. And here they were paired with Cambodia. Uh, they lost 3 nothing in the first uh, leg away, uh, so that gave them too big a mountain to climb in the home leg, where they only managed a draw. Uh, they did a little better in 2022, but we're going to look at that in the um, in the following round. I'll just say uh, 2022 also had 12 teams in the preliminary round, but 2026 expanded that to uh, 20 teams. So there are some um, there are some kind of unfair matches or matchups that leave the weaker team with no chance there. Uh, uh, in the in the preliminary campaign that we're covering here. Okay, let's move on to the recent history of Macau, and we begin with the 2019 Asian Cup. And um, we saw in the in 2018 World Cup qualifying um, that they were knocked out by Cambodia, uh, bested by Cambodia. 2018 World Cup qualifying also being the first two rounds of this Asian Cup. Uh, however, while that ended their World Cup campaign, they continued in the uh, Asian Cup because the teams knocked out early at least got to play a tournament called the Solidarity Cup. So basically a tournament for teams knocked out early and they would probably be the weakest teams uh, in the region. And um, in that Solidarity Cup, they... Uh, did well in the group stage. They beat Mongolia and Laos and tied Sri Lanka to finish uh, first place in the group. And then in the semi-final, they beat Brunei, actually uh, went 1-1 in that game, and then beat them on penalties. And in the final, they faced Nepal. So as you can see, uh, all fifth-tier teams here, uh, and they lost to Nepal uh, in the final. Uh, it turned out, though, that uh, a couple of teams had dropped out of the uh, uh, round three of three, the final round of Asian Cup qualifying. So uh, both Nepal and, Ma and Macau, the two finalists in the um, Solidarity Cup, were recalled back into the uh, main qualifying for the Asian Cup. In other words, they were given a place in round three of three, um, and that's how they reached that round. Um, but uh, they lost all games there. Actually, they did have some competitive uh, scores, including one with uh, Myanmar here, uh, 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 who they meet here. Uh, they lost just one nothing in the away leg uh, there, although they did lose to them 4 nothing at home. Uh, the other teams in the group were Kyrgyzstan and India. Uh, those were the two teams who advanced, and Macau finished last in that group. So didn't reach the Asian Cup as uh, um, they never have. Uh, the next tournament is their local cup, the EAFF, or East Asian Football Federation Cup. And um, 
as we said earlier, basically it's just a qualifying tournament for the weak teams. And in this case, there was two rounds of qualifying. So Macau was one of the weaker teams uh, in the first round. It was kind of a mini tournament there. Uh, and they lost to Mongolia, uh, beat Guam and tied North Mariana Island. So uh, proving themselves one of the weakest teams in um, Asia and in the world there. Moving on to World Cup 2022 qualifying, uh, the preliminary round was played among the bottom 12 teams, and they were one of them, and they were paired with Sri Lanka. Um, uh, paired with Sri Lanka here, and uh, they won the first leg at home to Sri Lanka. However, uh, they refused to send a team to the away leg because of safety concerns. There had been a bombing in uh, Sri Lanka, and they did not feel safe to go. Uh, to my surprise, FIFA sided with Sri Lanka on this and awarded the match to them. So, uh, exchanging uh, home wins, basically, um, Sri Lanka advanced on goal difference, uh, so a little bit of a tough uh, ride there for Macau. And uh, because they were knocked out, uh, oh no, this is in the next section. Uh, that was their World Cup campaign. Uh, also a bit of kind of um, unfairness in their local cup, I feel. The uh, 2022 EAFF Cup uh, decided not to have a qualifying tournament uh, for this edition. Instead, they just nominated the top four ranked teams, of course, the usual three, Japan, South Korea, and China, and then the fourth ranked team, Hong Kong, uh, with no qualifying tournament. So a bit unlike Asia there to just appoint teams uh, to the final without going through any qualifying round. I'm not sure what happened there. So uh, the next uh, tournament they uh, entered and played in was the uh, 2023 Asian Cup. And actually, that continued on from the first two rounds of uh, 2022 World Cup qualifying. So we saw that they won the first game against Sri Lanka, uh, but the second game was awarded to Sri Lanka because they didn't feel safe traveling there. And because they were knocked out in the preliminary round, uh, they were demoted, as in the previous one, to the Solidarity Cup. However, the 2020 Solidarity Cup did not take place because uh, the tournament was cancelled due to COVID. Yes, so it's not actually normal, I should point out, that uh, it's not part of the Solidarity Cup that, uh, you know, the teams who win it get back into the Asian Cup. That was just a kind of an anomaly for the uh, 2019 uh, Asian Cup version. Okay, and that brings us to the end of our uh, look at Macau, and in fact to the end of part two. So now we move on to part three where we compare the teams and uh, see, get a sense of who's going to win. So in terms of the pot rankings, uh, pot one team is Myanmar, and they came from, they were the third weakest team among the ten teams in pot one. Macau, on the other hand, was the strongest team uh, among the teams in pot two. And uh, in terms of their ranking in Asia, uh, Myanmar was 34th and Macau was 37th. Uh, so pretty close in the rankings there. And uh, we look at also at the rankings of, of FIFA uh, in their most recent rankings and Myanmar has, uh, or FIFA has Myanmar at 160. Uh, and Macau at 182. So, uh, oh yes, that is uh, the same as in the pot. So 22 points behind um, Macau is. And um, the ELO system has M Myanmar at 197 and Macau at 225. So that's 28 points behind. So um, Myanmar, we've called them a fourth tier team and Macau a fifth tier teams. And the rankings do kind of reflect that. Uh, although in some sense, they're not that far apart. Um, 
Yes, and in terms of their overall FIFA rankings, we have noted actually as we went through Myanmar that they have become uh, weaker in recent years. Around 2019, they were ranked 138th in FIFA rankings. Now they're down to about 160. And the same is true, though not as dramatically, in the ELO rankings, which we trust a bit more. They were uh, 177th in December of 2017 and have just dropped down to uh, 200 uh, in the most recent rankings in June 2023. So um, Myanmar, a fourth tier team, but kind of uh, recently dropping down to the fifth tier team. And we saw that in terms of their games, uh, especially in recent times where they've been dropping points to fifth tier teams. Uh, in terms of the head to head, uh, these teams have played each other three times, and uh, we're just talking about uh, World Cup and Asian Cup qualifying here. We don't include friendlies in this. And uh, uh, three times, and Myanmar has won all three editions. In fact, they won two of them by scorelines of 4 nothing. And we saw in 2019 Asian Cup qualifying uh, that... Um, uh, in the in the home in the away leg, Myanmar actually, uh, oh sorry, Macau put up a bit of a fight, and Myanmar won only one nothing. Uh, the other meeting was in 2010 uh, Challenge Cup, where Myanmar uh, won four nothing. So Myanmar with the uh, big head-to-head -head record, but again we see that kind of weakening in recent times, where they were somewhat challenged by Macau even at home. Uh, given that, the odds are a bit surprising. Uh, the only odds we could find were uh, for the first game, so that has Myanmar at home. I wish we could have found what the odds makers think about uh, the overall uh, home and away preliminary uh, round. I think obviously they would favor Myanmar, but uh, I'm surprised that in this home leg they give Myanmar a 98% chance of winning and Macau just a 3% chance of winning. We won't get into the math of why that doesn't add up to 100%, but uh, um, given that their last meeting uh, was in Myanmar and uh, Myanmar won only one nothing, I'm a bit surprised by these odds. I think Macau has a bit better than a 3% chance, although yes, in the home leg it would be a surprise to see them uh, take anything off Myanmar. Myanmar is a fourth tier team and their 2018 and 2019 campaign saw them easily beating uh, fifth tier teams, including Macau, excuse me. Uh, but they were weaker in 2022 and 2023, finishing behind Mongolia there and suffering a draw with Laos in the uh, ASEAN Cup. Uh, so it would be a surprise to be knocked out by Macau here, but I don't think it's out of the question. Uh, Macau at times uh, has shown some consistency over fifth tier teams. Uh, they, this should suggest that they get the odd spoiler result over fourth tier teams. However, they don't seem to. Uh, we mentioned the tie with Hong Kong in 1982 as their only such result. So they do not seem to... Um, uh, have the strength to take advantage of Myanmar, uh, even if Myanmar's form is a bit questionable. Okay, that brings us to the end of set four of the uh, 2026 Asian Cup preliminary round, Myanmar versus Macau. And we look forward to meeting you when we look at set five, that's uh, Cambodia versus Pakistan. We would like to thank Pixabay and Amaxi for the use of the music in this series titled Caledon or Caledon Flute Beat.